welcome to the video. So it's early Sunday morning. Time change, so it should be uh, 6.30 instead of 7.30. Usually dark. So don't forget to set your clocks. How's it go? Uh, spring ahead, fall back. So don't forget to set your clocks to the accurate time. If you have a cell phone, then it does it automatically. If you have a digital alarm clock, you have to change it because it doesn't know. So welcome to the 21st century with cell phones where you don't have to be worried about your clock changing. So let's get this run on. It's going to be 45 minute uh, pace run. A uh, little bit of race pace in there. Uh, not a whole lot, but we'll talk about it soon. Let's go. Man, that was a fantastic run. Uh, you know, sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I don't. Uh, but when I get lost in my thoughts, uh, today's technical tip is kind of a personal one. It's one that I use. Uh, so the TT would be mental focus. And what I mean by mental focus is when you're running, you have to focus on your pace. And when you're focusing on your pace, you're focusing on, you know, your energy, you know, how fast you're moving, um, how your feet are landing, uh, if your arms are going in or if they're going out like they're supposed to be. So as you know, if you've been running for a while, the faster you move your arms, the faster your mind tells your legs to run. So my mental focus, for instance, let me turn the camera around here so you can see what I'm talking about. So when I run, I run on the edge right here to keep me mentally focused. Right against the grass, so just like my foot is right here, that's how I would land. and just stay focused. So if you're all over the place, you don't have some kind of line to run on, then you're not mentally focused. Just like when you're running and you're going for a distance. So, uh, perfect example. See that light pole right there? So if you're running, you wanna focus on an object or a person to be focused on. So that's going to be the technical tip. So now we're going to get ready for church. And then I think we're going to a different spot today for breakfast. But we'll see how it goes. Now we're on our way to get some breakfast. We're going to Dunkin' Donuts. Because, you know, America runs on Dunkin'. Success, we finally got our food. I got a wake-up wrap. And some hash browns and some chocolate milk. What'd you get? A chicken croissant, hash browns, hash browns. and the best, French vanilla swirl, iced coffee, cream, and liquid sugar. Alright, so we're going to scarf this down and then we'll be at church. So before I finish up the video, um, I wanted to step back a few years ago and tell you my story. Um, so I'll start with 2013. I signed up for my first Ironman. And within that year, I had four surgeries. I had two hernia surgeries. The first one failed, had to go back in, do the second one. It took the third surgery was a 
the neuroma on my left foot and then the fourth surgery was a neuroma on my right foot. So I was chasing that 2019 full Ironman distance for five years. So in 2019, when I was able to start training, uh, I was very fortunate. So tomorrow is gonna be the year anniversary, if you will, of completing an Ironman. So I'm gonna put down some videos, a uh, few videos of you know how my day went to try to just share some moments of that day. Um, also too, ran into a great fella named Nick Bear. I'll put him down in the description below with the video when, when it's all said and done. Uh, great guy, believe in what he does. Would love to be a part of, a small part of his team, you know, what he does. You know, don't know him personally, met him personally uh, during that race. And, you know, we shared some time, you know, waiting to go into the swim. And it was, uh, he's just the kind of person that when you meet him, you feel like you know him. So, I got my race started the swim it was pretty sketchy uh, a couple of things the about a mile out the water gets real murky so when you come back in you know when you're getting close to the finish well your second loop the finish of the first loop the water gets clear again and it was weird i saw the same stick both times and on my first loop on the way back in I was making the turn in murky water and I couldn't see my hand in front of my face and I seen some tentacles almost like if your wife or your girlfriend's hair gets like in your shirt and you pull it out and it like goes across your face you're just like what is that that's what it felt like and I couldn't I couldn't feel my nose I could hit my nose is my nose there I thought my nose had fell off but whatever it was weird but that was the only thing that had happened didn't see any sharks people said they saw sharks didn't see any sharks the buoys moved, so it was a three mile swim versus, you know, a 2.4, but whatever. Transitioned, had to go into a room. I didn't want to go into a room. I wanted to actually go to my bike and transition. That's how they do the half. Um, did really well with that. Got on the bike, got to the mount line, killed the bike, then got on the run and they had a situation the police were involved there was some kind of shooting so that's going on um my uncle was saying that i didn't see it but the paramedics and the fire department was trying to get to this situation and they were running over combs and all this and i heard what i thought was fireworks when i did the first loop and i was like okay cool it's like disney marathon they're gonna do fireworks every time you know, somebody crosses the line, but that was actually gunshots. So, not gonna go into that, but thankful that, you know, everybody in the Ironman race that night was safe. So, finished. I wanna say I did like 14 hours, so this time around in Chattanooga, I'm gonna kill that time, and my goal is to get a spot for Kona. So I'm put a little side note in here for you, Nick. You're gonna be chasing Kona before you know it. If you're doing your second Ironman, you're gonna be chasing Kona. So I just wanna come in here, talk a little bit about me and my history and my past in chasing Ironman and now chasing Kona. Uh, all systems go, I feel great. Uh, no setbacks, no holdups, training's going fantastic for the half that I'm going to do on December 13th. I'll put the link down below so you can follow me on that day. Hopefully they have the link up and I can just add it down there. Then that way when that race starts, if you guys want to follow me and see how I do, that will be fantastic. Big thing about that day on race day is your support. Your cheer team, your family. I know that as athletes, we have a lot that goes into that. 
but your support team is, is key. That'll help you get across that finish line. So I hope you enjoy these few moments that I put down. Uh, the first one will be uh, Nick and I at the swim start with my daughter doing the, uh, uh, being the commentator uh, behind the scenes. She kind of had the camera that whole day, so I was really pleased with that and she does a good job. So thank you, Gracie. Hey. So it looks like it's gonna be week 13, uh, day one. We're gonna call this race week. So everything's tapering off a little bit. Um, it looks like it's gonna be... Hey guys, we're at the Ironman. There's Dad and Nick Man. Okay, we'll see you at the finish line. So that was dad on his first lap, coming back from his first lap. So he just has one more lap to go, and he's officially an Iron Man. Woo -woo. Oh, okay. Hey guys, so we're waiting for him at the run. He should be coming around soon. And he just has to finish his run, and he's an Iron Man. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> so we're at the finish line, waiting for him. From Pittsburgh. There's a finish line. We're waiting for him. He's at mile 23, so he's going to be coming around soon. Three more miles. He's an Iron Man. Woo -woo! Let's go, Dad! Let's go, Dad! John Dempsey, Arlington Heights, Illinois. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos that we uh, put along with this vlog uh, my race day back in 2019 November 2nd at 7 a.m. was when the gun went off so today's training was just an early morning run um, got some breakfast it was like three attempts we finally got some breakfast and the run went great it was 45 minutes everything went really good uh, no it was 50 minutes actually five miles had a nine minute pace real real strong run I was really pleased with that. Um, tomorrow is going to be a ride. 45 minutes, hour and 15. Let's just see what I can do. Uh, we doing some race pace stuff. So, and then also too, my technical tip about being mentally focused when you're running is a big thing for athletes to be mentally focused on the swim, the bike, and the run. And I'll talk about that more. I'll get in a little more detailed depth with that. So I want to thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed all the content. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a happy Sunday.